good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. We got a classic truck over here, classic Freightliner. Now I know this is a really old one already, but uh, hey, I figured, you know what? Show you guys this, hey? Look at them old. Oh, wow. That is an old one. <laughs> yeah, that for sure is definitely an old one. I've never, never ever seen an old one like that, but it's real, real rusty and all that stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go inside and have breakfast. I was gonna get out of here, but then my cousin just called me and he said uh, he wasn't gonna be able to get unloaded. But look at this truck over here, guys. My cousin was gonna buy this truck, but uh, the guy I think wants too much money for it. He wants like seventy-five thousand dollars for that, and that's an 03. Already got a million kilometers on it. So, uh, but yeah, my cousin called me and he said he couldn't get unloaded till tonight. So he's coming right back to the Flying J here. So I said, well. I was just about ready to put her in gear, but uh, hey, let's go inside and have breakfast with him. So I figure, you know what? Let's bring you guys in. We'll uh, maybe we'll get him on camera. Hopefully, he won't be shy. So, anyways, we're going to go inside the Flying J over here and go get some breakfast. Look at that. They got uh, they got all these new uh, they got new type of trucks. Maybe I go show you guys a little bit. And they got gas. Yes, I don't know how many of you guys have heard of gas trucks that actually run off of propane or whatever they call it. Yeah, and this is a fueling station for those trucks. Well, they mostly use them for local. Like, see, they got a little different nozzle. See how it is? See? Yeah, that's what it is. LNG. That's what they call themselves. Let's see. I wonder how much this one would cost. 70 bucks a gallon or whatever? I have no idea. But anyways, that's how they fuel them up. It says up there, liquid natural gas. That's what it is, cold na natural liquid gas. But anyways, I figured I'd show you that. I've never shown that before, and I've seen them around a few times, and so I figured, you know what? Show you the new age. Some of these local delivery trucks, they use uh, natural gas to run off of. They no longer use diesel. But anyways, we'll go inside and have some breakfast. Alrighty, guys, we have just left Calgary now. Yeah, we had breakfast there with my cousin, but yeah, it didn't really work out to uh, do any video with him, so uh, oh well, maybe another time, but anyways, we are uh, taking the back road over here to go to Highway 1, as soon as we get to Highway 1, we will be back on the big roads, and We'll be hammered down going towards home. Although we don't have a whole lot of hours today, but I did my log book this morning and uh, I still had eight hours and 25 minutes, or 25 minutes, eight hours and 15 minutes left in the log book. So uh, yeah, so we uh, basically have to do that pre-trip in the morning. So 15 minutes goes for that. So we pretty much have exactly eight hours of driving time today left to do so so yeah so we're going to be uh hammered down not too much stopping i think today we're just gonna try and get there as soon as we can although i was gonna get get out of the calgary there flying j there but then my cousin called and said hey let's go have breakfast and i said all right well let's go have breakfast then so yeah, so here we are, back at it again, so uh, we'll probably, uh, like I said, not stop too much, and then uh, we'll get up early tomorrow morning, as soon as our break is over, and get her going, going home, and, and then uh, we got something planned for the, for the weekend, yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. Not 100% sure exactly if we will be uh, taking you guys along or, or not, but 
we'll see. I might take this weekend off from videoing. I might. I don't know 100% for sure yet. I just might. But then again, we'll see. We'll see exactly what we will do. But anyways, we'll focus on getting home first and then we'll go from there, right? I am now officially back in Saskatchewan. Yeah, Saskatchewan. That's right. Across the border here probably about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. So yeah, now we are back in the boring country where there ain't much of a scenery up here, but we still try and make a video. That's the plan anyways. No matter how boring it gets, because there's not much of a scenery up here, but... Yeah, beautiful day out here, though. We're just cruising right along here. I've been given there now for about four hours, and... Don't really need to stop yet. Just giving her. But yeah, looks like we will be able to make a jet. Past Regina, there to that new flying J. I'm thinking that's where I'm going to end up for tonight. Yeah, but because we uh, had breakfast there with my cousin, that's going to be a little bit later than I thought I was going to get there. But oh well, we still have like a thousand and eight kilometers to get home to. <laughs> so we got our work cut out for us yet, but that's all right. In Canada, you can also just have eight hours off overnight and then go home. So uh, I might actually just do that tomorrow or this next night. I might just have my eight hours off, sleep, and then uh, get up and drive. Yeah. Because I really want to be back for like uh, tomorrow around lunchtime at the latest. So that way I can get everything ready, pack her up, and... Uh, start heading towards Winnipeg I think that's what we're gonna do so I don't know if I've told you yet or not I don't think I have too much yet but uh, we are planning on going camping this weekend just guys though no women nothing no kids just I think there's like four guys that I know of right now that are gonna be going four men and uh, so we're just gonna have a man weekend, that's it. Just gonna have us a uh, relaxed weekend and just uh, go a little fishing and a little camping there, barbecuing and just have a guys out type of deal, you know? Like I haven't done that in ages, you know? So I figured, you know what? I've been wanting to do that for the last two years now and never really gotten around to doing it. So I don't never go hunting by myself I've never hunt anyways so never really done any of that kind of stuff so uh, I figured you know what I love fishing camping may as well do that you know I know my wife and her fr uh, lady friends did uh, a little bit uh, hang out there last year and I never really gotten around to doing anything last year so I said this year I really want to try and make it happen and it looks like this weekend we're going to make it happen but what the ladies did last year was uh, a whole bunch of my wife and their friends and stuff like that we uh, kind of let them go out for a, for a night you know whatever they uh, went and rented a hotel and then they spent the day and the night and stuff like that over there so, uh, so they had like a girls night out or whatever and and so I said, you know, something that I wouldn't mind doing too, you know, like just, not that I don't want to spend time with the family. I know I'm always away from the family already. I love uh, spending the time with the family, but that's just kind of nice, I think, to just, you know, hang out with the guys for a weekend, you know. So that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. That's our plan, and we've been planning that for months now, and it's finally going to happen, so... Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure how the guys are going to feel about me bringing my cameras along. So I haven't really asked them yet, but I'll probably ask them tonight or tomorrow and see how it goes. But I'll probably bring my cameras anyways. I might just, whatever, we'll see how they feel about it. If they don't feel 
that I should have my cameras around or whatever, then we'll just forget about it. But hey, it might be a fun time. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do a lot of barbecuing, have a few beers and fishing and have a good time. That's also uh, what it's all about, right? We got to enjoy summer while, while we can, right? Yeah, that's right. We only have a few months to enjoy summer, so uh, where it's nice and comfortable and not where you can actually go camping. And we'll be uh, sleeping in the tent. And I looked up the weather. It's supposed to be really nice weather this weekend too. It's not supposed to be cold or anything like that. So it's going to be perfect. So I love it. So we'll uh, we'll have us a lot of fun. That's for sure. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising down the road here and hope the scenery ain't too boring for you guys and hopefully I can keep it interesting enough to where you continue watching. So, so yeah, we'll see what else we'll be able to show you today. Five o'clock in the morning, and since one o'clock he had been driving. Trucker Rudy was unforgiven, and with every mile he made a living for the kids and for the wife. tried to live a better life but like uncle used to say you've been living my son by the knife it was just before sunrise and fog was setting in when it hit him and by surprise against the river we can't win daddy I see you rocking heaven daddy I see you hit the road daddy I see you rocking heaven Daddy, there is no less load Another truck in the wrong lane A heavy load of propane There was nothing that you could do All I want to do is go with you was still alive when the flames stroke but it was too late there was no hope no last goodbye no more calling home it's time to go when the hammer falls I see you truck in heaven Daddy, I see you hit the road Daddy, I see you truck in heaven Daddy, there is no less load Regina says scratch me one. <laughs> yeah, we've been giving her today pretty steadily, so we had made one, one pit stop, but that was it, eh? And man, I'm telling you, this road is rough going through Regina here today. Huh? <laughs> Yikes, yeah, that's definitely a rough road through here, that's for sure. But 
Yeah, we got a little bit to go through uh, Regina and then uh, we got a little ways to go to the Flying J that's outside of Regina. And that's as far as we're gonna make it today. But we still did good. We still did really good, I think. Yes, indeed. So, let's see what happens. But uh, I think we'll be perfectly at about eight hours worth of driving. And when we stop there, so I won't even probably be able to fuel today. I'll have to do the fueling tomorrow morning, but that's all right. It's all right. And I will have to fuel before I go home, so. I can't uh, can't pass that opportunity on because it's another 640 kilometers yet and I got about a quarter of a tank so that ain't gonna get me there so yeah we gonna need some go go juice that's for sure Grand Grand M no Grand Ma Gra Grand I don't know it's a G R A N D M A is what that uh, license plate says there on that white Lexus, I think it is. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but I guess that's okay. I had somebody out here trying to help me pronounce stuff, but yeah, I'm not the greatest at it, I guarantee you that. Very difficult sometimes for some names for me to pronounce, so. But that's all right. We live and we learn. That's what they always say. In uh, South America, we used to have a joke, and we would say, "You, you grow as old as a cow, and you learn things every single day." It's supposed to be a little bit of a joke, but yeah, basically meaning. You can grow all the way old and you can still learn something. Yeah. But it looks like it's starting to get a little cloudy. I was talking to the wife here a little bit ago and she said it started raining in Steinbach. Yeah. But I guess we will be done here in about 15 minutes. I'll we'll have to call it a day be done with it and I'll be happy too um, I've been running really hard for the last few days so I don't mind having a little bit of shorter days the only thing is I want to get home early tomorrow but I'll be home by lunchtime that's all that matters anyway so so yeah here we are starting to go out of Regina yeah, they were having some construction here. Remember a while back when we come through here, a couple of weeks ago? It's exactly where they had the construction, just where we passed. There was a long delay up there. I think I sat in that construction there for about half an hour and the line up over there. But looks like they got it done. Yeah. But anyways, we'll continue on here to our uh, flying hook. And we'll call it a day over there. All right, guys, we are here at the uh, Flying J. As I was telling you guys, we were gonna make it here. Yeah, still fairly early, but uh, hey, that's what we wanted, right? Went inside and had us a much needed shower. I feel much better now, but we gotta go to sleep if I wanna get up early in the morning, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now we'll see you right here tomorrow morning on the Trucker Rudy Show. So stick around. We'll see what we'll be up to tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.